that comes to mind when you think about cleaning out your closet? Daunting? Scary? What if I told you that cleaning out your closet can be a liberating and transformative experience and propel you to your next level? Today, I'm going to share the five things that you need to get rid of from your closet ASAP that will help you step into a better version of yourself. Hello, welcome. I'm Courtney St. Clair, your transformative style coach. I'm here to teach you how to leverage the psychology of fashion and practical styling tips to help you get dressed as and become the most successful version of yourself and achieve your goals faster. So if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel. Your closet is supposed to be a place of empowerment, somewhere that you walk into and transform into the confident, badass version of yourself that you need to be in order to show up for your day. But you can't do that if you still have these five types of clothes in there. Number one is anything with holes or stains. And I know this sounds like a given, but you'd be surprised. In fact, I bet you have at least one thing that you wear regularly that has a small hole in it or maybe a little stain, but you just love it so much that you can't get rid of it. Maybe it's your favorite t-shirt or a pair of comfy sweatpants that you just wear around the house. So you think, mm, well, what does it matter? Because no one sees me in them anyways. Well, newsflash, you see yourself in them and your opinion of you matters more than anything. There are lots of new pieces out there that will be just as comfortable and that you love just as much or maybe even more if you made the space for them because you are worthy of clothes that are whole. Plus, I can almost guarantee that the most successful and most abundant version of yourself probably isn't wearing clothes that have unintentional holes in them. Raise your self-worth, raise your vibe, and trash the items that have holes and stains. Number two is anything that's so uncomfortable that you feel miserable when you wear it and you cannot wait to get home and change. Why are you torturing yourself? Seriously, whether it's a too itchy sweater, pants that are too restricting, or a pair of shoes that just murder your feet, there are so many options for things that are stylish and comfortable these days that you don't have to pick one or the other. Even if you had never or barely worn the item, take it as a learning experience and commit to only buying things that are comfortable moving forward. No matter how much you love how it looks, it will not serve your highest good if wearing it puts you in a grouchy mood. Something you love just as much and is also comfortable will come along. Number three are clothes that are too small that you are keeping to motivate you to lose weight. And do not lie, you have these in your closet. And once you shut this video off, you are going to get rid of them immediately. I can guarantee that they are not motivating you and seeing them hanging in your closet probably makes you feel discouraged. And as I said before, your closet is supposed to be a place of empowerment. Clothes are meant to fit your body, not the other way around. Get rid of the things that are small and make room for new clothes that fit and flatter the body that you have right now. You will feel so much more confident walking into your closet knowing that everything in there makes you look and feel like the best version of yourself. Now, if you're actively on a weight loss journey or maybe you're in like a postpartum transition, then you can keep these things, but you can't keep them in your closet. So pack them up and stow them away and pull them out when the time is right. And number four is anything that you haven't worn in over a year. Clothes, like everything else in life, are just energy, and energy needs space to flow. So if you have things hanging in your closet that aren't moving in and out, you're blocking that flow of energy. So clearing out things that are just taking up space will create room for new things that will serve you better. And if it's something that you truly love and really aligns with the highest version of yourself and how that version of you would dress, then challenge yourself to wear it within two weeks. And if you still haven't worn it, then it's time to part ways. And number five is your ex's old hoodie. Seriously, why do you still have things like this? I don't care how comfortable it is. Holding on to clothes like this is holding on to a past version of yourself. If you truly want to level up and evolve into the best version of yourself, you need to let go of the things from the past that are holding you back. There are other comfy sweaters in the world, I promise you that. So in the famous words of my girl Elsa, let it go. 
Same goes for things like dresses you used to wear to nightclubs when you were in your early 20s that you now wear on date nights with your husband because, well, they still fit, so you don't want to get rid of them. Or anything else in your closet that no longer represents the woman that you are today. Thank those things for serving you when you needed them and then say goodbye and let yourself fully step into the woman that you are becoming, style included. So listen, I know that cleaning out your closet can be overwhelming. And if you want me to hold your hand through the experience and to be able to ask me personal questions, I have created a program called Edit and Elevate. Inside, you'll find seven video lessons and a 33 page workbook to walk you through the process step by step, as well as access to a Facebook group full of supportive women, including myself, that will help you successfully edit your closet and allow you to walk into it feeling empowered and walk out of it feeling stylish and confident and ultimately elevate your life. So I'll leave the sign up link for that in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please, please make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments when you are planning on purging these five types of clothes from your closet. Commit to it, and then remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more valuable style lessons.